This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. A standoff on the campus of San Diego High School that we've been following since last night has finally come to an end with the suspect dead, shot by police. Christopher Marquez, who was wanted by police for two separate shootings, was shot by two SWAT officers who feared for the safety of the woman who was in that dumpster with Marquez for hours. SDPD saying she had tried to escape several times, but that he pulled her back in each time. Marquez died at the scene. The woman was not hurt. Well, some parents are pushing for more changes to San Diego Unified's reopening plan. There is a rally ahead of the district school board meeting today to reiterate their point that they believe students should return to campus full time. The district started bringing back about half of its 100,000 students for on campus instruction, either two to four days a week. And the school board is meeting today to discuss updates to their current reopening plan. The Padres is announcing plans to increase attendance after San Diego's move into the state's orange tier. Padres bumping up total capacity at Petco to 33 percent, up from about 20 percent before. The team says some sections will have higher capacity, but those will require proof of having been fully vaccinated or a recent negative COVID test. More capacity means more seats for season ticket members, some of whom we've seen are having a tough time getting into games. Tickets for that group going up online tomorrow and these larger crowds starting on Friday. All right, let's get a check on our weather now. Uh, Vanessa, will it be good weather to be heading out to a ball game? Uh, good if you love cloudy and cool conditions. Hey, all you need is a jacket. So yeah, in my opinion, great conditions. Let's go ahead and take you outside where we are still blanketed with plenty of clouds and even continuing to see drizzle along the coast. That'll be the story for the majority of uh, the morning and tomorrow morning as well. Right now, 57 degrees in the Del Mar area. Today's highs won't get very much warmer. In fact, um, none of us will be in the 70s. Majority of us will stick in the mid to lower 60s, even the upper 50s in spots like Imperial Beach. This will be the trend again for the next 48 hours. And then we see some relief temperatures closer to average towards the latter part of the week. And then by the weekend, just in time for the weekend, we'll see some much warmer temps and what much more sunshine, Jim. All right. Well, next home game is this Friday, so it looks pretty good there. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.